MSU's former president now finds herself charged with lying to investigators during the Nassar probe at Michigan State University. Luana K. Simon has been charged with two felonies and two misdemeanors by the state attorney general. Tonight, Nassar survivors are telling our Mar McDonald it's about time. Kimberly Devin, Luana Simon's performance during the Nassar fiasco was deemed so poor that the MSU Board of Trustees made it clear that she needed to go. That said, her retirement, which is very generous, includes her still working at this university. But if she's convicted on these charges, she's looking at prison. Had I known, I would have taken immediate action. Shooty's legal team charging Simon with lying to Michigan State Police investigators per the charging document. Simon is accused of telling them she was not aware of the complaint that launched the 2014 Title IX investigation into Nassar and that she was only aware a sports medicine doc was under investigation prior to 2016. The AG says both of those claims are false. Simon's been heavily criticized for deflecting blame from herself and other top administrators when the full scope of Nasser's abuse became all too apparent. Honestly, um, part of me is surprised that it actually happened. The other part of me is relieved because honestly, no one should be above the law. And what I think today's news of Luanna Simon being charged, I think that shows that um, you know, justice is still on its way and it's still coming and it might be a long time coming, but this just shows that Larry's enablers are are not able to run and hide. Simon stepped down in January of this year when it became abundantly clear the MSU Board of Trustees had lost confidence in her and that she was going to be sacked if she didn't resign. Her attorney, Mayor Morganroth, saying tonight, the charges are ridiculous, untrue, political, and I tell you, right now, the only crime committed is the charges against her. The proper party will pay for what they have done. Back here live, Simon is expected to be arraigned in Eaton County on Monday. We are told she has taken an unpaid leave of absence from MSU while this goes through the legal system. Kimberly, Devin, back to you.